Hey friends, welcome to the Page of Our Lives podcast with your hosts, Paige Evanson and me, Leslie Stewart. Today we wrap up our series on pursuing our dreams by asking ourselves, you know, as people who are working hard to make our dreams a reality, what do we do when we just honestly wake up to crap? Now I apologize if you're somebody who doesn't like that word, but let's be honest, sometimes it just feels like it keeps dropping no matter how hard we're working to keep life cleaned up and moving forward. Paige and I had started our conversation off air and soon realized, you know what? This might be something our listeners would want to hear. So we hit record a few minutes into our discussion. And don't worry, we saved the good, the bad, well, and the stinky for you. So if you keep waking up to crap, we hope that this page from our lives might be the encouragement you need to scoop it up and keep going. Okay, so one of the things I've been... um, just thinking through this week is this whole idea of, you know, growing social media. And I, I listened to, um, an interview that a couple of friends of mine did. These are ladies who were part of the writing cohort with me Mm -hmm. and they interviewed each other and they were talking about one of them has, um, acquired an, a, a literary agent and, um, he's working on, you know, sending her proposal out to some different publishers and, all of the feedback about her book has been super positive and they love the story idea and all that. But the number one reason she's getting rejected is because she doesn't have a big enough social media presence. And these two friends were interviewing each other and they were just talking about like, isn't it disappointing that I get that, you know, she's like, I get the fact that publishing is a business and they they're taking a risk on you as an author to know that like, you know, if we publish you, you have enough of a network to try to sell, you know, we're going to make a return yeah. on our investment. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's yeah. a business principle. I get that. And she's like, I get that. But she's like, it's disappointing because, you know, I'm just one of many voices out there who's, you know, who, who wants to not only be published, but really feels like has a strong message that could benefit people. But because I don't have thousands of followers, I'm not some big TikTok star. I'm not, you know, and yet people who, do you have all these followers who really are kind of like a, you know, a flash in the pan, they are getting these publishing deals to write books that maybe in five to 10 years from now, we're going to look back and be like, why did that person get a book deal? You know? Mm -hmm. And so it just has gotten me thinking a lot about like, I think that there's beauty in, um, being on the B list, if you will. I don't know if I would call us even B list. I don't know what I would call us. But like, I feel like there's this, if I think about it from a, like a organizational structure and my dog just busted in, of course, is like, you've got like all the like big, I've got thousands of followers and people know my name or whatever. And then it just sort of trickles down from there. And I feel like there's this beauty in sort of being in the lower tier because yeah. there's this authenticity to it. Yeah. There is, um, I just, you know, anyway, it's just gotten me thinking a lot because I know that it's kind of a double-edged sword. Like you, we, we want people to find out about our show. We want them to listen. We feel like we have a lot of really valuable truths yeah. to share with people, things that we've learned that we're still learning, yeah. but yet, um, we're kind of just, two gals that are friends that are just doing the thing, you know, and it's just an interesting conversation. And I I love to hear your thoughts kind of on like what, like when I share all that with you, like, what does that make you think of? And, um, well, makes me think I, I saw a post recently, um, this girl that she's married a football player and they, he got just his first, you know, opportunity in the NFL got just got drafted for the NFL. And she made a post, like, it's really weird navigating this whole fame thing because and basically the point of her post was that none of us were ever meant to carry that kind of mm, weight that's good. and uh, that weight of glory and I've I've mentioned this recently to other people that ultimately the Lord is the one who is supposed to get all the fame that's all right. the glory all the praise and us as humans were never meant to carry that much responsibility because you see things like with teenage stars where they go off the rails and they, you know, they get all of this fame and notoriety. And then they start one thing leads to another. And then they end up in a place that they never imagined that they would be. So it makes me think like, God, help me to stay humble Mm -hmm. and be thankful that not everybody knows my name, (laughs) which is kind of nice because 
I can't imagine going through publicly what some people go through publicly um, because everybody knows their name. And it's mm-hmm. not that they're, they didn't become unhuman when they became famous, you know? Yeah. And so just because more people know your name, it, it feels, I know I've read, I mean, don't know personally, but I've read that they feel pressure to put content out there constantly, feel pressure mm-hmm. to constantly be on and constantly be the best version of themselves. And let's face it, some days we just have a, the, you know, the dog craps all over. Like yesterday I woke up in the morning and I go downstairs and I'm thinking I'm going to have a great morning. And there's two dog craps, there's diarrhea and there's vomit. And so for the first, like, few hours of my, you know, an hour of my day, 30 minutes or whatever, I'm cleaning it up. I mean, and that's just the reality of that. I don't have somebody who cleans up the dog's crap. I haven't managed my children well enough to get them to wake up early to take the dogs out on a walk. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just uh, almost comical how God will just do whatever to, to humble us. But yeah, it, when you start, um, launching into doing the creative endeavors though, that God has pricked on your heart to go do, um, you can easily get sucked in. I know for me, I'm like, I'll start looking at other podcasters or influencers and I'm like, Oh my goodness, theirs is so good. Like what they have to say is so good. It's very well published. It's where like all the music, it's snazzy, all the graphic, everything's just so snazzy. And then I'm like, am I doing good? And then I'm like, you know what, whatever. The only person I have to compare myself with is me. Like, how did I do yesterday? And what can I do better today? And like I tell you, Leslie, everything is figure outable. And really, if somebody is killing it on social media, let's celebrate them. Woohoo! Yeah, exactly. Great job. We're glad that you're doing that. Like, that's awesome. But there's, and then um, do the best that we can, but not get in that comparison trap because everybody's got if you, you got some kind of crap that nobody sees, I mean, I'm everybody's not, waking up to some kind of crap. Everybody's waking up to some kind of crap. Yeah. Can we just call this episode? Everybody's waking up to some kind of crap. And that's the name of today's show. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I mean, there's always something, you know, we don't share all of that stuff, but there is, there's always some kind of crap that we're yeah. waking up to. Well, I re- really appreciate you saying that. I know I shared with you recently, um, that Hannah Brencher, who's one of my favorite people to follow. Yes. Um, I just love her voice in the world and yeah. kind of her, um, don't be so hard on yourself, like go at your own pace. Like she's just really encouraging in that way. And she, she does this weekly Monday email. That's one of my favorite things to get in my inbox each week. And, um, she didn't post anything last week. I didn't even notice because yeah. life, you know, it's not like I'm waiting around on Monday morning for Hannah Bridger's email to like pop yeah. in. Right. But yeah. when it shows up, I read it because there's always good truths in there. Well, it didn't show up. And so this week she posted about why and she in her weekly email. And she was just talking about exactly what we're talking about. Like yeah. we went on this road trip and my daughter got super sick on Sunday night when I normally write this. And yeah. it was like projectile vomiting in her car seat. And yep. by the time we got where we were going, it was just, it was like a, just one thing after right. another. And she's like, my total focus, she's like the whole time internally, I'm like in this struggle between like, you got to write the post, you got to write the post. The people are counting on you to write yeah. the post. Right. And yeah. then there's this other struggle of just her mother's heart of like, but my daughter's sick and she needs my attention and, and she needs her mother's love and care and, and, you know, and support right now. And so she's like, I finally just said, email, you're going to have to wait. I'm going to focus on my daughter, which to say that out loud. uh, Yes, of course. That's what every reader of her post would want her to do, but it's like giving herself the permission to let go of this sort of expectation that she's put on herself was very freeing. And then to then in turn, write about that and share like, Hey, like it's okay. And if you don't hit the mark every single week. Um, and so it just, I think all of that to say, like you and I, we are, we're figuring this thing out as we go. Um, we both feel like the Lord has called us and blessed us to do this in this season of our life, but it's, it is literally us. We don't have it, anybody besides Paige and I doing this. <laughs> like, yeah. We aren't paying anybody. We're not hiring 
professionals, which I'm sure all of you can attest to because of the quality of what we're putting out, we're doing a good job. but we're having a great time learning and figuring it out as we go. But I also know both our, of our hearts are to do this with authenticity, to do this with intention, but to yeah. also not um, sacrifice our families, our spiritual walk right. in the process of trying to quote unquote, grow a following. Right. And um, I just find all of that to be so it's the thing about doing this. That is mm-hmm. the most detestable to me <laughs> um, that it, that the world has somehow now said like, oh, because you're not yeah. known, you're not of value. Right. And I just think we're, we culturally and society, societally, I think that's yeah. a word we're headed for a very dangerous place. I mean, we've always said that, right. But yeah. it's even the social media side of the world has amplified that significantly. Yeah. And I think there's such a lesson there for our kids, um, mm-hmm as they sort of venture into creating their own sort of social media accounts and all that kind of stuff, like Paige and I are not doing this because we want to be famous and we're not doing this because (laughs) we think we have it all together. We're doing this because we know that we have blessed one another in the process of walking hand in hand as moms and friends. And we feel like the Lord is burdened us in a way with a desire to share some of those things with you who listen to this show. And, um, so I don't really know that there's a point to all of this other than to say, like, we're just relying on God to, to lead us and to bring the right people along to who need to hear what we're talking about on any particular well, week. Think, though, the point is that every voice matters. It does. Like, every voice matters. I mean, you, I have a friend that she's launching an entrepreneur for teens course and she, you know, and, and talking through with, with that friend, it's like, there's constant, um, barrage of self-doubt and negativity. Anytime you step out and to do the thing that you feel like the Lord's call you, called you to do, there is always going to be like the enemy there whispering, like, what, who do you think you are? Mm. You don't have what it takes to do this. You can't do that. Like, are you serious? <laughs> You'll have those, or at least maybe you don't, maybe you're just ultra positive all the time. And, but typically we have those self-doubts and really it's just learning to press forward through those self-doubts that, you know what, God called us all to be he's a creative god and he called us to create and in some seasons that creativity is going to look like um cutting out peanut butter and jelly you know sandwiches in the shapes of dinosaurs and then other times that creativity is just going to be organizing a closet and then other times it's going to be writing a book Mm -hmm. or launching a podcast or music or what you know whatever the thing is that god or building websites or building platforms i mean look at i mean look at how much we all use facebook or instagram and you know mark zuckerberg was just a college student wanting to create um, a platform for college students to connect and look at it, you know, look at it now. So anyways, I think just continue to use my encouragement to anybody would be like, if you've got an idea, put it out there. That's right. I mean, yeah, other people, what's that saying? Other people's opinions don't pay your bills. So, so stop waiting for everybody's opinion. Yes. You can yeah. take the wisdom and advice, but if you get too far into comparison, before you know it, you can be drowning. Like I just got on clubhouse this past week, Leslie, do you know about clubhouse? I do. We've talked about this a little bit. I feel like in the past, but anyways, I never actually logged on, created an account to see what it was all about. And I did. And I'm like blown away by that whole platform. I'm like, this is a whole nother country, (laughs) the clubhouse country. Like, holy smokes. Like, what are we doing? It's like live radio is kind of what it feels like. It, it really does. It's, but it it's, is, it's sort of that, but your, your whole point, I feel like is what you're saying is like, there are a million and one things that if yes. once you kind of go public with your idea or whatever, yeah. there's a million and one voices saying you should promote it here and promote it here and promote it here. And you got to be here and you got to do this, you got to do that. And it's like, you got to find your lane yep. and run well in the lane that you feel like God's calling you to. Yeah. And I also feel like praying for God to bring the right people along your path as you're in that lane is always wisdom. Um, and 
and just trusting him with the growth. Yeah. I mean, I think that's yeah. kind of where you and I are at right now. So, um, yeah, it's good. I think that's a good conversation to kind of wrap up this whole idea of, you know, chasing our dreams and going yep. for the thing and not, not losing hope when you are getting rejections, when you are being told like you, Hey, what you have is a great idea. Yeah. But (laughs) the big, but right. Like don't let the big, but, you know, um, knock you down because I think it's at just the right. I do really believe at just the right point in time, clarity will come for you to know, like, what's the what's the right way to promote this? What's the right way to publish this? Who are the right people to connect you to? And if you're continuing to just um, submit what you're doing to God and trust him with the outcome, I really believe that things do turn around. Um, Maybe not in the timeline you're thinking, but um, they will, they will turn around. So keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. That's right. That's right. And I think also too, just to remember you, you, we all have capacity for certain things in certain seasons. Yep. And so sometimes if God is like, no, not right now, it's because he sees, he sees that you, I want to give that to you, but you don't quite have the capacity for it. I need you to take care of that little one right now. That's right. And that is enough. That's enough. You're enough. That's good. That's good. So, all right. Aw, thanks Paige. That's a little pet talk for the day. <laughs> You're enough friend. Stuart Smalley. That's you're right. good enough. You're smart enough. And gosh darn it. People like you. <laughs> Don't forget, we like you too. You're always welcome at our table. So, yeah. mm-hmm. all right. Well, um, I don't know if we're going to make this an episode or something, but I'm sure we'll publish it. So, I think we definitely, you know, because everybody's waking up to some kind of crap. <laughs> That's just the bottom line. Whatever crap you wake up to today, yeah. it's going to be okay. Go clean it up and keep going friends. That's all right. And take the dogs for a walk. All right. (laughs) Peace out. (laughs) Bye friends. Well, that closes another chapter on the page of our lives podcast. Did you know we're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube? Well, we are just search for page of our lives podcast. Curious where to find things we mentioned on the show. Check out our show notes on our website, pageofourlivespodcast.com. And if you liked today's episode, be sure and share it with a friend. And we would love for you to leave a rating or a review in your podcast player. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.